They have a great shot blocker. What else do you know about Western at this point? Um, yeah, uh, we went over scout yesterday, and um, obviously during practice going over the stuff, really just um, obviously everyone knows about the 7-5 guys. You said the shot blocker and stuff like that, but um, you know they have good guards too. Uh, really what we've been going over is um, you know their point guard, McKnight, is kind of their what they live and die by. So we've kind of been uh, worrying about him as well. I mean, they have good guards. They're a good overall team. And, um, you know, they're coming off two big wins, just beat Ole Miss by damn near 30 and another team by like 40. So, I mean, you know, just try to get in early, uh, shut the guards down. And obviously our bigs are working on um, being able to keep that 7-5 guy, use our strength and um, – kind of base to push him away from the rim and just kind of make them play outside game. In, in terms of, of him, you know, when you guys played DePaul, obviously their shot blocker, really impactful. Jared said he thought that impacted you guys going in there a little bit. Have you guys worked on that, talked about how to how to deal with a guy like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, even just getting in the paint alone, we've uh, worked a lot on. Coach Max made a, a big emphasis on that, um, not just taking a lot of threes. And when we do go in, um, off balance easy, taking a lot of like – off balance fadeaways almost, you know, so we've really been working on with uh, shot blockers at the rim and just getting to the post, how to be more, how to take it to the chest, how to be on balance, and just take good shots, yeah. Matt, is this team still trying to figure out roles? It seems like there's still a lot of guys playing and, and different minutes and different games and, and everybody trying to find their, their way a, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, – I think there's a couple guys that, um, you know, coaches are moving around um, just based on what they think uh, day by day, team by team, what can help, um, help us best as a team. But I think we overall know kind of what each other does. Is now it's just a, a matter of playing playing as a team and, and doing what coach says and what we work on in the practice on the game court and not, uh, and not try anything new when we get on the court. Uh, Matt, obviously this team isn't shooting – particularly well so far this season. But odd thing is, a lot of it isn't because of bad sh uh, bad shots. Well, it's some of it, a lot of these are just simply open looks that aren't falling. Why do you think it is that you guys are getting so many good looks, but they just aren't seemingly finding the basket? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Um, you know, people like me and Noah, who traditionally shoot the ball, definitely, um, out of all people, are not shooting the ball like we should right now, especially. So, I mean, Really, just been trying to get in the gym, uh, work on, like, keep getting shots up, but uh, really nothing new. I mean, coach just says since it's not going in right now, um, really try to get into the hoop. But he's made it clear to me and Noah, like, I'm not worried about it. Like, keep shooting; they're eventually going to fall. Um, kind of just playing the numbers game. I mean, you guys are off right now. They they should should start falling soon, hopefully. After the DePaul game, you actually came back out on the court, and you and Noah both took a few shots. Um, where do you weigh constant practice and working on it as opposed to maybe I just need to go sit down and forget about this for a little while? Um, yeah, no, I mean, there's definitely both. I mean, there's a mental game to it, and there's, um, and there's uh, you know, you, you always got to keep getting your shots up, keep your touch. So, I mean, there's definitely a fine line between them both. But I would say um, right now, um, I would say it's more right now for us. We, we really, I mean, at least for us, we feel like we just need to get more shots up in the gym rather than uh, kind of taking a break away from it because, um, I mean, we feel like it's right there. Um, sometimes we just feel like it's coming off wrong, like little things, like little mechanics that shooters always know that you feel it. So it's really just getting in the gym, taking a lot of shots, and really, like, working on one thing at a time, the problem that you feel with your shot. Matt, you mentioned, you know, what McKnight does for them. How – how comforting is it to have a guy like Jared who kind of dogs the ball and, and really pressures the other team's ball handler? Yeah, no, it's really it's really comforting. I mean, no matter who we play for, for the point guard uh, situation anyway, I mean, I'm never really worried about going into the game about really them um, getting off because, I mean, as long as Jared, Jared's on him, I always feel comfortable about um, his, his position or his whoever he's guarding will be shut down that game. That's how I feel like going into every game. So, I mean, it's definitely comforting. Matt, you're looking at this game not only being in state, but everything that's gone on in Bowling Green lately. So you can expect, you know, big crowd, loud environment. Obviously, you all have had road games, but has it been something that has been discussed? But if not, just how important is it to keep your composure, especially with a rowdy environment? It could be one of the tougher ones you've had to start the season. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, it was talked about a little bit. Like, I'm sure the guys that are like the coaches who have been here, and then obviously we have a couple guys that are from Kentucky, like JJ and Mason, and Mason's from that area. So I mean, he's also kind of been like made it clear, and he also it's like a big game for him. But some of us that don't really know the whole Kentucky rivalry, like in in interstate Kentucky college rivalry, like I'm sure we need to get uh, be ready for it because I mean we've played some. Um, packed. I mean, we played a couple like at NC State, Michigan State, but like they, were made, they made it clear that these next two games, like it's going to be packed, but it's going to be hostile as well. So obviously, um, we need to get used to uh, get ready for that and used to it. But I think that we don't really have guys that that affects too much. I mean, honestly, I feel like we played better on the road anyway. So, <laughs> Matt, as a player, how much are you aware of just like? You're seeing games getting canceled. There's always news about the NBA or po games getting postponed. You're seeing news about NBA guys going into protocols. H how aware are you of that stuff? Does it concern you at all? Do you get any kind of like here we go again kind of vibe from last year? Say that one more time. Do, when you see those things happening, like like COVID protocols in the NBA, um, college games are getting postponed. Does it concern you at all? Does it give you any kind of like, you know, here we go again, you know, kind of vibes from last year? Um, yeah, a little bit. But, you know, at this point, I feel like, COVID, just, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a disease that's here to stay now, kind of like the flu. So, I mean, kind of just have to treat it as like it's a normal thing now. So, it's just like kind of hopefully we, it doesn't hit us. If it does, I mean, we got to keep moving. So, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, like you said, I mean, coach makes it clear all the time, too, that I got to uh, figure out my match sometimes, some matchups, or if I get switched on a guard, um, how to guard them certain ways, because like you said, I'm not the quickest. So, I mean, um, I mean, I would say lately, um, my defense has been a lot worse than I started the season off with. Um, but I think so. I mean, I still I think I need to get better there. But um, like you said, I kind of rely on defense, you know, by positioning. But also, like you said, just um, use my hard nose, like try to be physical, try to make the guy not want to go in, drive into me as much just based on physicality. So, I mean, I definitely use that as a try to as a technique in a way to like, I, if you will, scare my defender into doing not doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> One more real quick game, if you don't mind. Uh, does it make much difference for you starting versus coming off the bench, having started a couple of games here? Um, no, there's no difference. I mean, I mean, either way, same role. I have the same role on the team. Either way, I mean, I'm sure um, the lineup could or could not switch many times this year. I mean, I think it's just based on either who's playing well in practice or game by game matchup of who the coach thinks is the best opportunity or best matchup for whoever we're going against.